nothing. If you look closely enough, you can see a white stream of, of well, something being shot from a tiny nozzle. The substance is a polyurethane, a liquid that comes out in the fiber form roughly 1,000 times smaller than a single fiber of cotton. It's a nanotechnology that has many uses. It's a filter for a lot of filtration applications, and Texas Tech is the first in the world to report such a honeycomb mesh in a polyurethane fiber using nanotechnology, which has applications in chemical warfare, toxin filters, water filters, oil filters, chemical protective liners, and then uh, artificial skin. Dr. Rankumar describes the process as a self-assembled honeycomb nanofiber created by a process he calls electrospinning. The polyurethane is given a high voltage electroshock as it goes through the nozzle, which creates the fabric. There's an immediate chance that this could go big in Lubbock, and Lubbock is having all facilities because we are not talking about big machinery infrastructure requirement here. All that is only knowledge which we have here. So that is the reason nanotechnology is getting such a support from global governments. It is a far cry from traditional spinning with traditional cotton fiber. Dr. Rankumar says the process is on the cutting edge of bioscience, and that puts Texas Tech and Lubbock in the driver's seat on the road to the future. With the Bioscience Initiative Report, I'm Dave Walker for Fox 34 News at 9. Rough day for the Rocket. The Rangers on a roll, and week one is in the books.